2018 is literally over. Like what happened? So let's rewind back 10 years, 2010. I was a sophomore in high school. Makeup was still a new thing for me. I didn't get to wear it until I was a freshman in high school, I believe. So it was one of those things where I, YouTube was still not really popular yet when I was a sophomore. Um, it was slowly popping off, but there wasn't makeup gurus to teach you how to do makeup and everything. So what you did is what you learned from your parents and everything and what they did. As you can see in this makeup, um, raccoon eyes was my thing, but there was also no such thing as contouring and eyebrows. Um, foundation, powder, and concealer was my thing. But when I say concealer, I don't mean in the way that we're all used to it. I mean concealer in the way that I would go in and just cover up the pimples. So if you see any like weird marks of orange, that's what that was, you guys. That was my thing. That was my jam. That was my makeup. That black eyeshadow color right there is gonna be my eyeliner now. Now I'm not saying this is wrong. This is not what you should be doing. I'm just saying this is not what I do now. Okay. Oh, let me do it like I would have definitely done in high school. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Stretching and giving myself all those premature wrinkles. Yep, just like that. I'm sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder, I forgot a mirror, and this is what I'm rocking with. So I'm using my um, viewfinder also as a mirror. Um, but also, don't you love that the idea that back in the day, um, I put eyeliner super dark on the bottom too. So not only did I do it on the top and the bottom, it was both eyeshadow. And then think going in and blending it with the, that brush that I used the first one, would have helped out. Little 15 year old Bethany. Um, it didn't. Oh, yeah. 2010, 15 year old Bethany. I, I would have definitely made myself proud. This is definitely something I would have wore. Would you have definitely dated um, freshman year me? Me too. Yeah, 2011. I started exploring with the smoky eye more. So, um, everything kind of pretty much stayed the same. I sticked with putting on concealer as a pimple cover, um, just foundation, powder, and blush. But in the eye direction is where we decide to uh, get a little risque a little bit. We're gonna do ombre eyes, exactly like I would have done at my um, junior year or high school, sitting there in class, looking like a freaking monochromatic ombre gizmo gadget. Junior year high school. That was the year of the year I got my license and then I ended up getting in a crash a month later. I tried to keep it very much so like the picture. So it went from literally I took the colors and I went dab light, dab gray, dab dark. And that was as exciting as it get. But to the introduction of learning how to do smoky eyes in my life. So 2012, we're entering my senior year. I am at a new school. I am with new people. Year that I was still rocking ombre eyes, but cue the introduction of popping extreme frost right in the inner corner of my eye. So that was the year that I would take literally the widest shimmery shade I could find. Also did not know what a um, lip color was, so everything was very lip gloss and chapsticks. Dive on into the year of 2013, where I stopped finally doing the ombre eyes, you guys. That I wasn't very like much so into makeup that much. So what I would wear was literally blush, one or two shades of eyeshadow, and um, mascara, and that's about it. So we are going to wipe away these eyeballs here. High school Bethany is over. She's left the book. Mm, girl, that burns out. Now, let's get on into 2014, 2015. Thank God that was the year that makeup started to hype up a little bit. Like makeup was in, booming a little bit in the industry. Jaclyn Hill was becoming a thing. Carly Bible was a thing. It's the year that 
of course, I finally stumbled up on YouTube, well, better YouTube makeup videos and started exploring better with makeup. So you know what, I finally decided to purchase once all that happened, a makeup primer. It was on 14, 2015 me, and I didn't know what sanitary stuff was, so Ciller is now more than just a um, zit cover upper. It is actually meant to make your face beautiful. So cue the introduction of me trying to learn how to do wing eyeliner also. Ready? Hold on to your britches, boys and girls, because this is definitely what I would have done. You didn't blink, did you? Because you may have missed it. You're going in crazy with that wing. Like, you, it's so hard you can cut somebody's throat with it. So yeah, look how great, you guys. Look how much better I got at makeup. We're still learning. I was finally discovering what lipstick, the power of lipstick does. So you know what shade I wore all the time? I'll give you a guess. Yeah. Yeah. 2015, 2014, man, I'm telling you, that was brutal. Yeah, I did great. Exactly like I would have been. <laughs> 2016, um, I definitely wore makeup that year, but I decided to keep the look like this. Um, one mostly because the reason this is what I did a lot of the times. Um, that was the year that I knew something was up mentally with me, especially as a teenager. Um, my moods would definitely go up and down like this. 2016 is when like the awareness started popping up and I definitely knew like I probably had it. So, um, I tried to keep everything very minimum. I tried to wear makeup as little as possible. I stopped being into things that I used to be into. Um, that was also the year that I was like, this is, I shouldn't be around anymore. So the, it was those periods that I was dancing back and forth with thoughts all the time like that in my head. Um, has it gotten better in the past few years? Eh, they're still there. There are definitely times where I find myself falling through holes. And then it takes a lot for me to get back out of them. Um, I don't know why I'm crying. This is supposed to be a happy, fun video because we're saying goodbye to like the worst years. But that was definitely the point in my life that I knew like that. That's what I feel like made the whole decade horrible was up until 2016, and, and I'm slowly crawling out of that hole now. Um, I'm not saying it's gotten 100% better, but it has definitely gotten to the place where I'm, I'm more aware of it and I can try to get myself out of there before it hits 100%. But it definitely hurts a lot when you are in those holes and you have to depend on somebody else to pull you out. So um, I stopped caring a lot about things. So I did basically what you're seeing here. I did do a few, like foundation and stuff like that for um, work. So Q2017, I finally, um, starting investing more time again into the makeup world i um was finally in hair school something that changed my path of life a hundred percent um scared as heck to do it but i definitely did it um guess what you guys i finally discovered eyebrows <laughs> accentuated that sucker. I was like, you know what? Marilyn can rock the red lips with them all, so can I. So I accentuated that sucker. I did the bare minimum to get me through school and the first couple of, um, few months of my job. And then thank God 2019 hit because that was the year that I was like, okay, this is the time that I need to start taking um, makeup seriously. But I am going to go do my full face like I normally would and yeah come back and let you guys see the difference between the past 10 years and 2019 so towards the end of 2019 all the way into now I discovered 
the power of falsies. Um, so 2019, I'm definitely playing with more colors, getting comfortable with doing bolder things, um, trying new things with the lips and then um, contouring tricks and all that. I'm invested. I can't go back. The 19 was great. I finally got earned my chair at my salon. I started my career um, full force. So it's been a great year. There's definitely been the trials and tribulations of every year, but 2019 was definitely my year to take it full swing and try new things and be different. So I'm ready to take on 2020 at full force. I'm ready to take more time for my mental well-being and more time for uh, myself, more time to learn and more time to improve myself. But um, yeah, you guys, 2019 is literally over. Like what happened? Like we were counting down for new year and now we're counting down for the new year again. But, yeah, crazy. Time flies when you're having fun, if you're having fun. Am I, ha am I having fun? Are we having fun? You're having fun. I know you are. But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this kind of like goodbye to this decade, hello to 2020, to the new decade video. I figured it's something different. I haven't really seen anybody do this on YouTube yet, so I was like, why not put it out there? Put it into the universe. You only get back what you put out. Yeah, like Blush and all of them agree. I think they all agree. They're all here. They're all part of the team. They're like, you know what? We're here and we're running a part time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video and say 2020 is going to be exciting, you guys. Um, 2019 was kind of a little bit taste and get you out there to introduce myself i feel like 2020 is going to be my year um thank you for coming along the ride and watching my videos building up this channel um i'm excited to start creating more flow and putting more things out there in 2020 and i promise it's going to be a great year thank you always for watching don't forget to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe because, yeah, I put out videos every week. And you never know what 2020 holds. Might be more. Might be less. Who knows? I guess we won't find out until you subscribe. Thank you always, guys, for watching. And I'll see you next year. Bye.